Hello everybody, it's February 2022 and you're probably stuck in frigid below zero temperatures. In fact, even Southwest Florida has had its wave of freezing temperatures over the last several weeks. Okay, maybe freezing is a slight exaggeration, but Floridians, even 50 degrees feels like freezing temperatures, which is why the search for soup recipes is one of the number one Google searches right now. And in particular, potato soup recipes because potato soup is warming, it's comforting, and it's delicious. Welcome to Restaurant Recipe Recreations, everybody, a channel that serves up your favorite restaurant recipes right in your very own kitchen. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate the potato leek soup from Roos Chris Steakhouse. And this video also happens to be a viewer request from Gypsy Venom. So Gypsy Venom, I hope you enjoy the recipe and the video. Not to mention how cool of a handle name Gypsy Venom is. <laughs> I mean, like, the Ruth's Chris Steakhouse version of potato leek soup is a very creamy blended potato leek soup. The soup is then finished with a dollop of savory chive whipped cream and then topped with what they refer to as a bacon dust. So what you'll need for this recipe is about five or six large fresh leeks. We're only going to be using the white and very light green part, but ultimately what you're looking for is about five cups of chopped fresh leeks. You're also going to need two pounds of Yukon gold potato. You're going to need chicken broth, heavy whipping cream, garlic. You'll need six slices of bacon thick cut. You'll need butter, fresh thyme, bay leaves, and fresh chives. You'll also need some salt and some cracked black pepper. For equipment, you're going to need a large stock pot, and you're also going to need what's called an immersion blender, which is what I have here. If you do not happen to have an immersion blender, you can use a large regular blender, and I'll show you how to puree the soup in that as well. And then finally, you'll need a food processor to make your bacon dust and a regular hand mixer to make your savory chive whipped cream. So let's go ahead and get started with the Ruth's Chris Steakhouse potato leek soup with bacon dust and savory chive whipped cream. Obviously, we need to get all of our ingredients prepped out before we start the soup. I'm going to start by getting the bacon ready because I need the bacon to be extra, extra crispy. The bacon also needs time to cool completely so that we can put it into the food processor to create that bacon dust that I was talking about. I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 450 degrees until it is extra, extra crispy, and then remove it to cool. And this is the desired doneness that you want. So drain the grease off from the bacon and set the bacon aside to cool. Next, I'm going to clean and dice the leeks. And as I said before, we're going to be using the white and light green parts only. So where the leek becomes a little bit darker green, you wanna go ahead and cut it off there and then cut them into about a half an inch dice. When you're finished cutting all of the leeks into a one half inch dice, place them into a colander. As you can see here, dirt gets trapped between the layers. And so to rinse them well in a colander, we'll make sure that you remove all of the dirt from the leeks. Now place these leeks under very cold running water, mixing them about with your hand to make sure that all of the dirt is removed. Next, you need to peel two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. Now cut the peeled Yukon potato into one half inch dice and set off in a bowl. Now mince two medium cloves of garlic. The garlic does not need to be minced finely because this soup will be pureed. Finely mince two tablespoons of chive. On a medium heat, take three tablespoons of unsalted butter and melt. While your butter is melting, add your garlic. Do not allow the butter to burn or even slightly brown. And next, add your five cups of cleaned and diced leeks. Stir the leeks in your stock pot until the leeks are softened and translucent. Once the leeks have softened, add your two pounds of diced Yukon Gold potatoes. and give that a mix. Next, add a sprig of fresh thyme and two large bay leaves. Add two tablespoons of kosher salt and four cranks of cracked black pepper. 
Add five cups of chicken stock and bring this mixture to a boil. Once your soup comes to a boil, give it a thorough stir. Cover your soup, reduce the heat to low, and simmer the soup for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the potatoes are very, very soft. Now let's make the savory chive whipped cream for the top. In a cold mixing bowl, add two cups of heavy whipping cream and just add one pinch of salt. Now remember, this is a savory whipped cream, so you're obviously not going to be adding any vanilla to it or any sugar. And then hand mix it on high until peaks form. Once your savory whipped cream is very firm, gently fold in your chive. So the bacon dust that goes on the top of the soup is exactly as the name suggests. So take your extra crispy bacon that has been cooled and just place it in a food processor and blend it until it becomes a dust-like consistency. Once your soup has been simmering for about 15 or 20 minutes, check one of the potatoes. If it is very, very soft, you are ready to puree the soup. If your soup is ready, dig out the bay leaves and discard them. Also, pick out what's left of the thyme and discard that as well. At this point, I've turned my soup off entirely. And there are two different ways that you can puree this soup. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way to do it is with an immersion blender. And if you've never seen or heard of an immersion blender before, it's exactly what it sounds like. And you come at it sort of top down so that all of the mixture gets caught up in the blade. You can go ahead and puree your soup right in the pot that it's in. <laughs> Now using an immersion blender is probably the easiest thing you can do, but it's not always the most effective. Sometimes it doesn't get like all of the chunks pureed in there. So the other way that you can puree your soup is by using your blender. But when you use your blender with hot soups, you have to be extra, extra, extra careful. So the trick to blending soups in a blender is not to go too high up. Um, you can see that this is a little less than halfway. Uh, you want all of that steam to be able to escape. Now, trust me, I've learned it the hard way. 20 years ago, when I first learned how to cook, I was pureeing a homemade cauliflower soup and I filled up the blender too much. The entire thing exploded, it was dangerous, it was a mess, and so you just wanna make sure that you leave enough room in the blender for the heat to escape, which means that you will have to do this in batches. But it also means that you will get a smoother and more consistent puree. So take the vent off of your blender lid because again, the goal is that you want the steam to be able to escape. Using a towel, hold the lid down gently. Begin to blend your soup. Dump the pureed soup back into your stock pot and repeat the process until all of your soup is completely pureed. So again, you can see that the immersion stick is going to be easier and it's gonna be cleaner but it's not going to be as effective in the puree process, and it's also not as fast. And for all of you that have watched me since day one, Mama got a new blender. <laughs> in fact, Mama got a big boy blender. I would say that based on the average size of a home blender, uh, this process should probably take you about five or six times. With your heat on low, add one and a half cups of heavy cream. So while I'll admit that that soup does take a little bit of time, I find that oftentimes some of the best things do take some time. But we're almost done. Let me just show you how to garnish it. Of course, serve it up in whatever size bowl of your choosing, whether it's an appetizer or an entree. Then you're just going to take some of your uh, bacon dust and drizzle it onto the top, kind of try to keep it in like a line. Now I have like an ice cream scoop or a melon baller. You wanna take some of this savory chive whipped cream and just place it right on top. All right, so now the moment of truth. I would like to mention before I let you all go that today is a very special day for me. As of today, my channel has reached 10,000 subscribers and 450,000 views. I could not have achieved this monumental YouTube goal without all of you. You're absolutely the reason that I'm here and you are the reason that I do this because I love it. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you're one of the 440,000 that have watched my channel but not yet subscribed, 
please consider doing so. And if you have a restaurant or a recipe that you would like me to feature, just like Gypsy Venom, go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. I promise I'll take a look at it. But you know what it is, everybody. Until I see you all again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. And for more recipes from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, check out right here.